The world is trying so hard to make sin not that bad. Cardi B was on the cover of Cosmopolitan and one of the big headlines was micro cheating. Are you doing it? Is he doing it? Why are these in my ear? Hold on, I just realized that I still have these in my ear. That's unnecessary. Okay. <laughs> my literal first thought that came to my head is like, okay, I get what you're saying, like calling it micro cheating because you're not full out committing physical adultery. Maybe you're not physically cheating on somebody or on your spouse. Maybe you're just flirting or maybe you're just texting this person a little bit too much and you're getting a bit emotionally attached, but like, it's just micro cheating. It's not like full out cheating. And I thought about that and I was just like, well, when God looks at sin, does he say, oh, well that's just micro sinning? No, like what does scripture say about what we would call micro cheating? This is what Jesus says, okay? You have heard it said, you shall not commit adultery, full out cheating. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Okay, we'll just stop there. Our culture and cosmopolitan would say, well, you're just looking at hot dudes and it's just in your heart, it's just in your mind. Or you're just flirting a little bit with your eyes, but you're not full on doing it. It's just micro cheating. But God would say that if you sin against my holiness, you sin against my holiness. Yeah, there's different repercussions. So if I give a dude flirty eyes, I'm not gonna have the same repercussions, repercussions, repercussions as if I full on like sleep with somebody who's not my husband, obviously. The physical repercussions for our sin are different, but God says, that all sin is against him. And so while physically it might look like, oh, I'm just flirting with my eyes, I'm just micro cheating. I'm not like cheating, cheating. You sin against a holy God. Jesus came to make sin not just about the physical things. Like, well, I didn't physically cheat, but it's about the intentions of the heart. If I'm all over here, you know, texting some dude, getting my emotional fill from somebody who's not my husband, just thinking these things, Jesus says, that's enough, that's sin. There's no tit for tat when it comes to sin. Like sin is sin. It doesn't matter if it's full out or micro. Scripture says that even one sin is enough to have you um, eternally separated from God because that's how holy he is. It doesn't matter how unsinny we think this small sin is. It's not about the quantity of the sin. It's about the quality of the God. God is ultimately holy. And so one little sin against that is enough. If you're thinking like, that doesn't seem fair, that doesn't seem right, we don't get to choose that. And if it's something that doesn't seem right to you, I would just encourage you to really study God's holiness and what that really means, that he is light and in him is no darkness and he cannot dwell where sin is. And so that's one thing I wanted to talk about and especially these young people growing up and reading these things and seeing these things, like the world is trying so hard to make sin not that bad. But it's our job to be vigilant and to know God and to know his truth so that whenever somebody comes along and they mix in a little truth with a lie, we can tell the difference. So we're not just like, oh, well, yeah, that kind of makes sense. It's just micro sin. I mean, it's not like you didn't full on commit adultery on your husband, on your spouse, on your wife. So it's like, yeah, I guess that's right. No, the world mixes in bits of truth with a lie so that our guard is down and so that we aren't walking in a way that's holy. And whenever we're not walking in holiness, our salvation is never broken. If you're genuinely saved, like that cannot be taken away from you. And that's a whole nother vlog on its own. But our fellowship with God does get broken. God is light and he is holiness and he cannot be where darkness is. And so if you're walking in darkness and you're continually doing things that are contrary to God's holiness, then you're going to be breaking the fellowship and putting a wedge between you and God, or as scripture also calls it, grieving the Holy Spirit. So I just wanted to come on here really quickly and encourage you guys, especially younger people, a, no, I'll get it later. And especially encourage you younger people who are really soaking in so much that this world has to offer, do not believe the lie. Don't believe the half lie, half truth. So I love you guys and I hope that this helps. I really just 
care about you and I want to talk about the hard things and I want to talk about things that you may not want to hear because these are the things that our souls need to thrive. So I love you guys and I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, talk with me about it in the comments. If you don't understand, maybe I can help you or if you have more scripture to go with what I'm saying. Uh, it's all God's word. It's not my own opinion. I love you guys. Bye.